Okay, so we're here in the hide tunnel now. We're going to uh, plant some of these Atlantic Dill giant pumpkin seeds. And uh, first thing we're gonna do is get you a container. Uh, this is a four by four, it's good enough, that'll work. We're just gonna fill it with some potting soil here. Nothing special about it, just nice moist right out of the bag. From there what we're gonna do is just wanna poke a little hole in your finger, just like planting any plant, just put a little hole in it there, not very deep, just enough to cover the seed with soil is all we wanna do. And these seeds are a nice sized seed, they're real fat and they're real heavy seeds. Um, they have kind of a, a rounded end and they also have a pointy end here. The pointy end goes down. Uh, kind of important to note, um, these seeds have been soaked in water for about four hours prior to this to give them a good drink of water. Um, just put them in a glass of warm water, about 100 degree water, just let them sit there for a while and they'll draw in a bunch of moisture. Uh, so those have come out of the glass of water. Um, they're nice and wet and they're gonna go right down in here in the soil. Uh, we're just gonna put them in there, pointy end down and just deep enough that the soil covers them. That's all, there, all we're going to do, and we don't want to pat it down real tight, and then we're going to give it a little bit of a drink of water, get the soil nice and moist, and we're not going to water that again until the plant emerges. That's all it gets right there with what it soaked up from being soaked in the water, and then a little bit that's stored in the soil, that's all it's going to get. From here, it's going to go into the germination station over here. Uh, we'll put it on the heat mat and under the cover, and then we'll wait. It stays about, depends how cold the room is, but it. It stays around 78 to 80 degrees in there. It's just a 17 watt mat. Um, it's warm to the touch, but it doesn't, it's not like it's really warm and gonna burn anything. It might be in the 80 degree range is all. And these seeds have been taken about a week. Uh, they've come through the top of the soil, they've emerged, and they're ready to go. Oh, as soon as they come through the soil, uh, we wanna turn the grow light on so they've got as much light as possible. Um, otherwise, we get a real long, leggy stem, and we can run into all kinds of stem problems like that one um, if they don't get enough light as soon as they emerge. So for the first 48 hours after they come through the soil, I like to leave the light on 24 hours a day to get that, that third leaf, that first true leaf to where it's starting to emerge so we don't get a real long stem on it. plant like this, uh, it emerged about a week or so ago and what we're going to do with it is we'll let him stay in here for maybe another week, uh, someplace around two weeks. As soon as we've got this first true leaf established and we know where it's going to go, uh, if the weather permits, it's time to go outside and let's get him out there and get him transplanted as soon as possible. Uh, there's less shock to them when they're a lot smaller like this and they seem to recover a lot better than trying to transplant the big plants. They, they grow fast in here, but it's really hard to transplant them when they get big. They're better to do it when they're small and let them take a hold out in the patch. Thank you.